His dad is an alien? No way. Gordon is half alien? Oh, she's got a crush on Gordon. Huzzah! Okay. Oh, we got black hair. And it's so cute. What? Hear that beautiful noise, guys? Hear it there? Just screeching away in the background. It's the sound of a crying baby chicken. And we're going to have to get up and deal with it. So last time we went ahead and... Oh my God, I need to zoom out. Last time we went ahead and had Rain, who is the first baby that we've had of Gen 10 in our Not So Berry Challenge. We also went ahead and did the like super realistic childbirth mode, which I linked in the description of the last video. It was a lot. It was a lot. We're level two of parenting. Amazing. It was intense. It wasn't graphic because they had the whole blurry thing, but it was definitely a much more true to form, true to actual experience of birth, I guess. So so if you guys loved it, so if you guys hated it, I thought I would hate it because I have a bit of a fear of childbirth. However, I genuinely actually found myself really, really enjoying it, which I wasn't expecting. I think what I really need to do is change that hospital a lot because it's way too big and complicated. And it just means that whenever I go there, my game really struggles. I can't actually remember how to fix it unless I'm a doctor and I go there. I think I had a mod at one point that let me like go to different lots, like travel from my menu. And I could even travel to like lots that were like um, work lots. So I need to figure that out. And I will try and do that before we have the next part, uh, our next baby. I also am aware that I have to do an adoption for this challenge as well. But what I want to do for now, Jesus, you would level that up fast. What I want to do instead is I've got to really focus on my career because what I want to do, get really high in my career, have the one time affair, quit my job and then we will do Gordon's dream of adopting a child. Like it's something she's going to be selfish on until she does something absolutely terrible and then realize that she needs to start putting Gordon and his needs like ahead or at least equal to her own because right now it's it, there's a disconnect, you know, there's definitely a disconnect. So I'm going to be focusing a bunch on her career stuff today. She's already written her column. She doesn't have work for two days, which is annoying, but it's fine because it means I can focus a lot on Babalaroo today. And we're having pizza for breakfast. You know what? You just gave birth. Like, you know, you've got a lot going on. If you want pizza for breakfast, then have pizza for breakfast, my love. We also renovated the house a bunch last episode as well. So it's looking all very blue except this room, which I haven't really decided what I want to do with yet. I don't know whether to actually move my like living area to a separate room or not or whether we have it as like a child's play like a playroom because we're planning on having a few kids but I can't have a lot of kids just now I've got to wait a bit I need to get ahead of my career and if I'm constantly taking maternity leave it's just not really gonna happen is it I can also hear poor Gordon crying away let me just go ahead and tell her to go for a wee he's feeling sad because on the same day that his son was born he found out that his mother had died so like literally the exact same time so he's not in a great place at the moment he does have work in in three hours time. He's a level one salary person. They said it takes six months to get productive at a new job. You'll have six hours. So good luck to you. Tofu is still being aggressive to Gordon. Why don't you try and give him a bit of food? See if that helps. Let's try and see if we can placate the dog with food. It tends to work on most dogs, you know? There you go. That's how you're going to have to get him to like you. So just before he heads to work, I'm going to go ahead and take Tofu for just a real short walk. I might even do a jog so it's even faster because then we're going to have to have a whole day looking after baby, which is great because I have to get parenting to level 10. I also have to maximize the super parent thing. All I can do right now is try and get parenting to level four because I can't discipline a baby. <laughs> can't discipline babies, guys. So once baby ages up, I'll be able to start working on this too. Oh, and bless him. He's really struggling. Really struggling. I'm hoping his grief doesn't make it difficult for him to connect with his son. His son's sleeping at the moment, so I can't really like go in and wake him up. But there is definitely a chance there could be a bit of strife for the firstborn in the family because every time it's his son's birthday, it's also the anniversary of his mom's death. So that's like a, a lot to deal with. You know, that's a lot for the poor guy. He's one of two in terms of like sharing a same parent. But he's actually one of four if you include like stepbrothers, like half brothers as well. Yeah, half brothers, not stepbrothers. And if I look at his family tree, it's always interesting to see like, you know, other people's family trees. This was his mum, Bianca. You guys are suggesting we name a future child after Bianca as like a little bit of, if we have a daughter, as like a little bit of a like homage to his mum. Then these are his grandparents, the Cassidy's. We've got the Baileys as his great grandparents. And then his great great grandparents are the Bjergsons and the Baileys and the Gottos and the Schaefers, the Bjergsons. So, oh, wow. He's part of a really big family tree as well. Okay. Look at this. 
Everyone, this is the thing. I've noticed a bunch of issues of what happens when you get to Gen 10. This isn't an issue. If you guys are interested in hearing how the game runs differently, once you get to Gen 10, I will do a video on it because I was literally speaking to another Sims YouTuber and also real life bestie, Taz. Taz Kabaj, you might know her as. And I was listing all the things that are different about the game once you have 10 generations running and she was shocked. So if you guys would like to hear a video about that, let me know. Oh, and we've got a baby crying. I know you have work in an hour and you really want to go browse the web, but why don't instead you go ahead and change baby's diaper? Liv, however, is loving life. She's not feeling down. She's not feeling blue. She's going for a little jog with her little bubbler. It's very soon to be running. I know you recover a lot faster from a natural birth than a C-section, but actually, you know what? It's soon, but fair play to you. As long as you know your own body, don't push yourself. Don't go too far. So she's taking a little tofu for a run. Get his energy and his aggression out in a jog, I think is a good idea on a morning. And yeah, he changed the kid's diaper and then immediately just went downstairs. Didn't try and talk or like feed or anything. I like that we maybe have that as a bit of a storyline and maybe there's some strife. And as a teenager, like he has it out with his dad and his dad realizes everything. Oh, it could be good. I know he's a good guy, but you can be a good guy and still end up, you know, letting your own like issues and trauma affect your children, you know? And okay, he's heading into work now. He's like working this job that I don't think he's in love with. He didn't even go out the front door, so let me see him go to go goodbye. He's just doing it because he's had a family way sooner than he wanted to. So he never got to pursue his dream job. We never even found out what it was. So yeah, he's having a bit of a tough time at the moment and perfect timing for you to head job at home as well. Well done. I think after that, you deserve another slice of pizza. <laughs> Ooh, and Gordon's had a revolutionary idea at work. He's throwing himself in his job as a distraction. Why, well, you know what? Give it a go. Just try just try and do it the program began auto liking all the posts on simstagram which the company was tagged it was a pr disaster oh bless it oh it's just not going well for him is it it's just life just not going so well for him okay why don't we try and brainstorm with the team or why don't we try and chat to your social to your co-workers and since we've got a day off with la babble why don't we go ahead and invite some people around to meet baby i'm gonna go for i don't want to overwhelm myself and the baby so let's just do closest family members for now and they can also like see the house and everything so hello oh look they're in there in there in nice and wait a minute, no freaking way. That has to be trimester three. Look how big her tum tum is. Let me see, MC pregnancy. <gasps> okay, yeah, it is Veya's baby and oh, baby boy as well. <gasps> Okay, she's in trimester three. Exciting! Oh my gosh, we got little matching sons. Oh, yours is gonna be soon. And oh my gosh, Tofu, what have you been doing? Oh, Tofu's been fighting skunks. That's why he's so gross. Okay. I'm also feeling like, oh, you're in the same job as your mom. No freaking way. Yeah, he's also struggling to meet coworkers. This is another bug I'm having when you get to level 10. Just don't meet co-workers anymore, which is super annoying. And because I've been doing basically all the parenting since baby came home, I'm on parent in level four. And she's already thinking about baby number two. <laughs> Oh, and grandpa's going upstairs to uh, meet Baba LaRue. I was hoping if I left it crying for a sec that someone else might go see it. There we go. Grandpa upstairs. A lot of crying. A lot of crying. He's like, yep, that's... Th I'm so glad that's over. <laughs> and I'm like, is it really, like, nice enough to go on the slide? But it is, like, a really hot day in spring. Maybe we should do some sliding together. Baby is asleep today, so why the hell not? And you have wings. Why do you have wings? There's something so hilarious about watching her go down the slide. Oh, you want to come over as well? Yes, absolutely. Going down the slide with a pair of wings on. Oh, Briar. Well, oh my gosh. You might be an angel, but turns out you can't fly. And baby's having a very fussy day today. Rain is quite a fussy baby. I like to give my babies rankings on how they've been as babies, and he's definitely classed as fussy baby. No amount of attention is enough for Rain, which is great for my parenting skill, but not so much for my socializing with fellow adults, especially when I've got a stinky skunk dog to bath as well. Okay, so we've also got Katarina here as well with, oh, she's brought a pumpkin, cool. Katarina, I believe, is our cousin? Yeah, she's our cousin. You guys might remember her. She's not currently CC'd up, but she's kind of done a bit of it herself. So I'm just going to go with that. I also really like what she's wearing. That is a cute little outfit. Fair play to you. And interesting little tidbit of information, a bit of, bit of gossip for you guys. I'm just going to chit chat with her once I finish doing the dog. But when I went on Gordon, he is friends with Catalina. So not Katarina, who I think is... Oh, he doesn't... Oh, and he's not friends with her. I think basically they all went to primary school together and he got on well with Catalina, but not Katarina. In fact, not friends with anyone on Zane's side. That's so interesting. So yeah, I think Katarina is Zane's child, but Catalina is 
forest child trying to stay with me here. I don't know if he had like a run in with people at the wedding or what, but yeah, a lot of people not so much getting on with. But he does really like Catalina. So another day, another lack of promotion or any kind of job increase whatsoever. But Gordon, he's kind of definitely having a struggle in life right now. He's also really stinky. He didn't want this baby. And I think for him, it feels like everything's gone a bit wrong since. You know, he started his job and then immediately had to start like calling in sick because he was at hospital. Not that you should have to do that. Your work should just give you the time to have a child, you know? But I think that's how he feels. Also, because he's been working all day, like all of his wife's side have like come around to see the baby. They've brought pumpkins as gifts and everything. And none of his side have. So that's, you know, kind awkward still the look this is how much of a good guy he is he's like come round to try and at least try and make an effort like have a little chit chat his wife's in his bikini because she's been playing outside on the slide all day while he's been failing at work getting all of his job promotion going the opposite way also the man still farts a lot i am noticing that about him and yeah he's just bless him Eating his little plantain, having a bad time. Baby's awake, but he's got no no urge to go and interact. So I'm just going to go ahead and send him straight to sleep. And it's almost Rain's birthday. So I think little Rain is going to age up into a toddler, which I'm really excited to see how he looks. And I don't need to give him a specific hair color. And give him whatever hair color we want. And oh my gosh, she literally just put her head on the pillow and baby's woken up again. But he's still... He's going to wake up really sad, so I'm going to have to wake her up. I'm so sorry. She doesn't seem bothered, though. To say she's a gloomy sim, she's literally so happy about this new baby that nothing can get her down. So despite the fact I want her to go into work, like, with a good mood tomorrow, I'm still going to be, like, I'm still going to make her get up. I look at all these little tidbits we've got in here from Minzy. Look. Look at this. All of these. All these beautiful things. All on our wall. So nice. And look, we are still very loving. He still gets all the cuddles. Okay, so it's a Saturday, which means Gordon's at home with baby all day. I've got work in two hours, but I'm really hoping that my promotion's gonna be today. Oh? Oh? Is the baby about to age up? No, we're just talking right now. Okay, he actually went up to do baby stuff on his own. That's the first time I've seen him do that, which is pretty amazing. Oh, and I thought he was going to do some more, but no, he's off to go cry out in bed. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I am going to go into work today because I'm really expecting to get that promotion. So let's make her... She's already working hard. I'm going to try one final time to make some connections, but I just don't think you can meet co-workers anymore. They just don't exist in my game. I don't know why. Briar's come round, I think, maybe to see the baby again. I did want to invite my dad around today, who is Bruno. Bruno is, my dad's remarried. Oh, not mine, but Gordon's dad is remarried. So I'm going to invite him around too, so he can meet the baby. His dad is evil. Oh no. Okay, we have a somewhat okay relationship with him. Oh, there's the Easter Bunny as well. His dad is an alien and a passive parent. But his dad's a freaking alien. What? No way. Gordon is half alien? Wait, was his mom an alien too? No, because then he would have been an alien, wouldn't he? Yeah, his mom wasn't. Man, he wasn't that close with either of his parents, really. Bless him. And he's got an evil alien for a father. The alien genes are back in the family. So that's interesting. Okay, so this is the dad. Is he going straight upstairs? No. I thought he was going to see the baby, but he's actually just going to see himself in a mirror. And how can we tell? Has he got any alien characteristics? Oh, no, I don't like his dad. His dad is a lot. Okay. Yeah, I understand why the relationship's strained. Yep, still not meeting any co-workers, which is going to make my affair storyline a little bit trickier. If I can't meet co-workers, we're going to have to try and have a, an affair some other way so if you guys have any ideas let me know in the comments below oh this is good the grandparents are like cleaning and stuff around the house so we're having at least a little well, bride's dancing but they've come around to help out maybe they realized that gordon was in a bit of a tough spot and probably needed the help however i will say now he's not in a bad spot he wants to kiss and woo woo and make out so you know these things are good he's definitely recovering again i know exactly what will happen if we do that Baby number two becoming a lot faster. And he's even doing some sliding. See? He's definitely in a better spot if he's sliding, you know? Okay, that's good. I'm glad he's not feeling all sad anymore. Oh no, the slide did not go well at all. And he now has dry skin. He's just like... <laughs> Gordon's just kind of unlucky in life, isn't he? Bless him. He reminds me a lot of Saj Sam. I'm getting like... Really strong Saj Sam energy from him. Didn't Unlucky used to be a trait? Unlucky and Lucky used to be a trait. And if they were still like invisible traits, then he would have the unlucky trait, I think. He's trying, bless him. He's like, I really enjoyed that drink. And the food was pretty tasty. I will use it to cloak my sadness. <gasps> oh, hey Liv, I have a crush on Milo Means. Do you think it's worth a try? Yes, go for it. 
That's another cousin. That's Alana Berry. Oh, who is Milo? Do I know him? Oh, I don't know him. Ooh, we could be having another marriage in the fums. And I've played matchmaker, which is even more exciting. As soon as I get home from work, we're going to do toddler aged up time. Oh, and I got promoted. Yes. Okay. Food critic. That's where all of our work, like we only did art because we had to. This is what makes sense for us. Our father was a master chef. We're pretty good at cooking as well, but we prefer writing about it. We prefer judging others because that's kind of more live style, right? So if you don't love it, they won't eat it. Yes, I want to be a chow chaser. So boom, I've been promoted at work now. Four times, well, three times. I'm on level four. Oh, Alana now wants me to go ahead and hang out. I can't because I'm aging up my toddler tonight. I'm so sorry. Meet with Milo instead. And I've called it inform. Ooh, okay. This is the if you get married, you'll get the money thing. I'm going to accept this because they do need to get married. Oh, and Tofu's not been burned. Tofu. Okay, so we have seven days to get married. That's fine. I did want to have more children before I got married because I wanted them to be involved in the wedding. So we'll see how things go. But now that I'm home... Yeah, I've been promoted three times and Gordon's not been promoted once. That's actually been disciplined at his job. So it's definitely like, uh, it's a bit tense. It's a bit tense in the house, especially because like, I feel like Liv's just relying on natural talent. Like, you know, her dad was a chef. There's a bit of nepotism going on there. Whereas Gordon has evil alien. <gasps> oh, she's got a crush on Gordon. Hey Gordon, I fancy some sakura tea. Want to come get some at the romance festival with me? Okay, this is my post rep law. I feel like these two were like childhood really good friends. They probably would have developed into something more if Liv didn't come along and immediately snap him up and then immediately get pregnant. I think that's what would have happened. <gasps> I wonder what happens when they're alone together. We'll try that. He's not meant to have an affair. There's nothing that says he can't. I don't think he would because I think he's a good money. But... This is interesting. Take this information, put it in your pocket, keep it for later. But for now, we're aging up babies. So come upstairs, do some final baby cuddles and whatnot. And we're going to be fussy up until the very last second. Fussy all the way with this little one. Okay, Gordon's in here to watch as well. And let's go ahead and age up into a toddler. And the baby's mutate and then there's two of them. Are you not even catching it? Where? There we go. Okay. Huzzah! Okay, oh, we got black hair. Okay, I'm not. I'm gonna like keep the hairs that they're born with now because I don't have to pick a hair color. It's kind of similar to the mums, but black. <gasps> and it's so cute. What? Okay, this is little rain. You are gonna be fussy because you were a difficult baby, making me get up multiple times a night. Like you were a tough child, so you're gonna be fussy. And let's nip into cast and see how you look. She's so freaking happy. Let's nip into cast and see how you look. Okay, so before I get to that point, we're not pregnant anymore currently. So, and it's also like quite a nice warm-ish spring. So I'm going to switch up her outfit into like something blue. Don't forget, we're not in like full on, we're not doing that 50s housewife thing yet. We do plan to do it. I don't know if to do comfy post baby clothes. Yeah, I kind of like that. She's kind of pulling it off, like the little loose shirt. Because, you know, we have just had a baby. You know, when we're wearing tight things, I know the baby's like two at this point. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> but maybe I already start to give her a bit of a mumsy look, but we don't go like full on housewife just yet also i've not switched up her hair in a little while so let's switch up her hair a touch i'm just gonna go for a relaxed look for her for now like a mumsy look so there we go gordon is not getting promotions to work i don't know if it's because he still has like a little bit of a youthful appearance so i'm gonna try and smarten him up just a little bit also this outfit's too cold now <gasps> that is his color that's what i had to do but i'm also gonna give him a slightly neater haircut just you know so he looks a little bit more corporate and professional. Do I do? Oh, that one makes his forehead way too small for me. Okay, this, yeah. We'll go for like this kind of thing so you can just see. He's trying to be a little bit more professional, but more sensible. I might give him, you know, he's got babies, probably not doing a close shave as often as he would like. So I'm going to give him a little bit of a, a little facial hair. There we go. He's definitely looking a little older. And then we've got little Ray. Let me see you. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, all of my children are born with this exact eye color, more or less. However, eye color for this gen is the eye color of the previous gen. That I will keep. So I'm gonna go for... These eyes are all like quite an intense blue. Let me just chuck you here for now and then see if there's any face paint eyes that I think would be nicer. And I'm not going to give all the kids the exact same eye unless I really want to. I think I'm going to more like, you know, maybe I'll mix it up a little bit for each one, but they'll all be like some variation of blue. And I think a darker blue for rain because he 
kind of making me feel like a rainy day sort of thing. I think this one suits him the best. So I really like that. Put some little lashes on him. I think he's got Liv's eyes. I think these are Liv's eyes coming through. So I'm going to keep his eyelids like uh, like fairly undefined at the top so that he keeps his like natural features. I like to give toddlers a little blush as if they're like teething. So there we go. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. <gasps> adorable little child i wonder because he's like a fussy child if he's gonna be like a fussy baby whether he'll be quite clingy with his mom or whether he'll be more like defiant against his dad i don't know maybe he'll be quite rebellious in the future i'm gonna stick to hair fairly similar to what he was naturally born with i'm not saying i will definitely do that for all children but kind of a nice way to do things he's wearing a little star wars outfit so let's change him to ooh, complex sims hello a little cute dressing gown for children I'm kind of liking this sort of color scheme on him, like little yellows and grays. So I think that's cute. I'll also give him some bed clothes. Oh no, <laughs> I forgot that my children do that. And a little hot weather outfit as well. Okay. And there is fussy, cheeky, naughty, but adorable little Rain. So here is how he looks in game. She's teaching him to talk or to walk already. That's so cute. And... She's feeling gloomy from shared sadness. Why are you feeling sad now? Difficult feelings. It's hard to be near a child who inspires more panic and sadness than it does joy. And it's not the child's fault. It's not necessarily the parent's fault either. Well, Gordon's a try and explain it to others. Met with nothing but horror and judgment. Yet how is one supposed to make themselves not feel the sadness they feel and feel the happiness they do not? And perhaps there is love for this child somewhere. Somewhere perhaps, but as of now, it cannot be found or felt overrun by upset. He's having difficult feelings about rain. Oh! Okay, that's because he said he was not ready for children and he wanted to adopt. This is how good, much of a good person he is. Like, he's literally admitting to himself that he's really struggling to connect with his son and the feelings he has towards him are really difficult and complicated and he, he's too scared to talk to anyone about them. But he's there playing dollhouse with him too. That's so freaking cute. So, and he's not looking at him, <laughs> but at least he's trying. He's a good googie egg, but he's definitely very conflicted right now. Whereas we're just like so freaking happy. We're still buzzing off the, uh, they're growing up. She can sense something's wrong with him, but she's not really sure what. However, I need to go ahead and buy a regular child's bed. And I'm gonna... <gasps> Okay, what's... We're hungry. Okay, we're feeling hungry. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. He did not enjoy the dollhouse play with us. Maybe he could sense the lack of commitment from his father, you know? That's kind of what I'm, um, I'm feeling was going on there. Forget the water slide. Let's bring some food upstairs for the child. All I can offer you, child, is pizza. I'm really sorry. This pizza has kept us alive for, like, so freaking long. While he's having his pizza, you did want to woo-woo in the bush. So I'm going to suggest you guys woo-woo. Not a try for a baby, just a good old regular woo-woo. And we shall see what the results of it will be next episode. I think I have my risky woo-woo set very high. I think I was having difficulty at one point, like getting somebody to conceive. Maybe it was Briar. So I set my risky woo-woos really high and she still didn't conceive. Liv is very fertile. She has been having none of those problems. So we're just gonna see. You know, he's the one that wanted to woo-woo. Like this could be his own undoing again. He's shelved those feelings for now he's got rid of those feelings for now he's also ten spot marrying for money and will a baby be formed i guess we'll just have to find out guys next episode so let me know what you guys think of rain i will do a pregnancy test as soon as we start the next episode and i will see you guys there thank you so much for watching bye